Welcome back. It has been almost 25 years since we said goodbye to the most famous woman on the planet. But Princess Diana's legacy continues to live on. In one of the most anticipated movies of the year, actor Kristen Stewart is the latest to take on the role of Diana in the new film, Spencer. Take a look. Diana, they can't change. You have to change. You have to be able to do things you hate. You hate? There has to be two of you. It's the real one <laughs> and the one they take pictures of. <laughs> Diana, for the good of the country. It's the country. We're thrilled to welcome to the show one of Hollywood's biggest actors, Kristen Stewart. Welcome to the show. Well, Kristen, uh, personally, I cried watching this film, and I understand you cried while you were making the film as well. And um, you say that you even felt Diana's presence around you as you were shooting Spencer. So what kind of work does that take to bring her to life on the screen in the way that you did? Well, I, I had to so kind of absorb my impression of her spirit uh, for so long. It started, you know, you tell yourself something long enough, it starts to become real. I, I think the reason this movie was interesting for me was not to sort of regurgitate facts, but actually kind of endeavor to dream about what it felt like to live inside that body. And she's like this very unknowable person. And so I, I also think that what makes her interesting is, is the juxtaposition of how available she is. She's somebody that you feel like you know when you see one picture of her. She does an interview, she, you see one moment of her walking off a boat with her kids and you're like, I, I know that person. And um, yeah, there's like a weird friction between reality and someone's internal life, but I also think that none of those impressions are not real. There's something spiritual there. And even if you're not like religious or like super articulate in terms of your spirituality, which I'm actually not, if our experience is our imagination, which it is, I, ha I held her the whole time. I was so protective of her. I was so um, aware of kind of who I felt her to be. You could really feel that. I have to say, you embodied her in this beautiful way. So this year in particular, both William and Harry have been speaking out publicly more than ever before about their mother. When you reimagine uh, Diana's pain, how did you approach balancing out their grief along with recreating Diana's turbulent life? You know, she she lived such a, a uniquely singular existence. Nobody's ever had that very experience. Um, and she was somebody that really wanted to share. And um, it's very, very clear that when she stands the tallest and sort of feels the most unconditional, it's when she's with her kids. And um, in the movie, we wanted to create something that felt like a real family. The aspects of her that are the most relatable are are basic. You know what I mean? That's kind of what, what made her remarkable within this institution was that she felt like somebody who existed and it felt like somebody who was real. And um, we were so, so preciously concerned with creating a little bubble around this family. It's the reason you want her to survive. It's what she has to live for. It's what she's protecting. It's it's also in reality, which our movie definitely does not try and prescribe. We, we are a work of fiction you know, it is, it is, it is inspired by things obviously that we're talking about that exist in this world and that matter to people. You know, it's weird to talk about from an, from, from an artist's perspective that I've never had a chance to meet Harry. I've, I've never, I obviously never shared any space with, with, uh, Lady Di, but I, um, I do know that her legacy is so about liberation and choice mm -hmm. and honesty. And that's not something necessarily that is been on the forefront of the monarchy's mind and I think to see them living those things and you know in opposite directions it's really beautiful and and uh I think that she also had a sort of duality within her that that is reflected in them and um yeah I don't know it's it's a tricky thing because I think uh I would like to believe that she believes in art from everything I learned about her she wanted human connection she wanted to like bridge gaps between people and that's really all we endeavor to do while making movies so I would say we don't know anything this is a total speculative thing but it, but it is so coming from a place of love and curiosity that I would say uh yeah just that so Kristen you portray Diana so beautifully and that was only accentuated and helped 
with the fashion. Like there were fashion moments where you brought us right back to the era. And there's a quick moment when you are wearing a wedding dress. And I want to say on behalf of Canada, congratulations, because <laughs> someone is going to also be saying I do, like in for reals, in IRL, which is amazing. Um, and speaking of fashion and weddings, I mean, we remember that quick moment in the film. Yet, yeah, But also, you've said that you want to kind of maybe dress it down a little. And from this Canadian perspective, I know you've said maybe denim, maybe a t-shirt maybe Canadian tuxedo, denim on the bottom, denim on top too. Um, or has Lady Di sartorial choices like kind of seeped into you? And are you going to maybe pull some inspo from her for your own wedding? <laughs> oh, no. No, that particular <laughs> wedding is kind of going to be the antithesis of <laughs> the whole goal. Uh, I mean, I said it. I think I, I don't, I kind of barely want to plan it. I, I just sort of want to get everyone together and kind of celebrate and that's it. Yeah, I wish I had a better, imagine me wearing my, the wedding dress that I wore in this movie to my wedding and just having everyone go, so she's lost it. So she really has lost it. <laughs> Kristen, uh, it's no surprise that there's so much Oscar buzz around this movie. Thank you so much for taking some time. We're wishing you all the best. Can't wait to see how everything unfolds. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. For everyone watching, the movie is called Spencer. It is out now. Go and see it, and we'll be right back.